we're going to look at CSS selectors. And so we're working out of uh, this document right here, if you're watching this online. You get there by going to this one, that URL. And uh, this entire course is at greatercommons.com. If you want to buy the course, uh, I, uh, that will send me enough money. I could go get a six-pack of beer, which I will give to a friend, because I don't drink. My wife wishes I had drank. I tried it. I don't really care for it. I'm not. It doesn't make me happy. Like, I'm a little bit happy for a little bit, but the next day I'm just like... I was thinking, like, maybe weed, but that's not legal totally yet. Uh, next year. Next year. Uh, yeah, I point that out because one of the students in the class here wants to maybe start a grow business. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so we're going to talk about CSS selectors. So we have a CSS rule set, and a rule set has selectors, and then what? You guys finish it for me. What's the next part? So a rule set is going to have, I need like some document where I could write. Mm, mm, uh, mm, text edit. So um, a rule set is going to have selectors, right? And then what's next? What's, the, what's it called? Kong, Cedric, Aaron. Teresa, what's it called? Declaration block. And then a declaration block is going to have what inside of it? Declarations. And declarations are made up of what? Property and a value, right? And they end with, they end with a semicolon. Isn't coding awesome? And yeah. so we could have as many selectors as we want. And those selectors might be like HTML, uh, body, main, div, right? Mm -hmm. And then our property values might be like, um, you know, uh, padding, zero, uh, border, zero. And when it's zero, by the way, you do not include the length element. It doesn't matter if it's pixels or percentage. None of them, in this case, they don't include it, which is beautiful because less is more. So that's our uh, rule set. And so now we're going to look at selectors and CSS reset. And selectors be like an element selector. It's HTML, it's body, it's main. Mm -hmm. A class, right? We just say class. What's the difference between a class selector and an ID selector? Like right. Just like in that movie, The Highlander, there can only be one ID per page. Yeah, in class you could have, you could use as many times as you want on a page. ID you could only use one time on a page. For yeah, and IDs will later become uh, anchor bookmarks, where we could get a, a link to that place on the page and say just go straight there. You want to see that in action? All right, so uh, we'll do uh, first just here. We'll do a new directory, and we'll call this anchor bookmark. Anchor ID bookmark. Because kind of like you'll hear it called a bookmark, but it's a little bit, it's built using IDs and anchors. Mao, Mao, that's a different type of styling. Link going to have href or image? Href. Because uh, link has four letters and href has four letters. And so now if I had ul, li dollars times 300 of them. Pow, ooh, that's a lot, right? And then I could uh, make some of these like um, you can't have an ID start with a number. I'm pretty sure we'll check that. So I got 290. <laughs> And we'll just take it down by uh, 50 every time. 290, and then what did I call it? Li, and this is 240, and then 190.
and then 140. And then 90. And then 40. Cool. And uh, and then up here, I could just have an anchor, and it's going to go to pound li40. And uh, Just wondering if there's a way to start that off different. So that's going to be 40, it's going to be 90, it's going to be 140, it's going to be 190, it's going to be 240, it's going to be 290. And we'll have 40, 90, 140, 190, 240. And uh, we could come in here and we could also do things like this. Oh, I... So I don't even need CSS. So menu 40, 90, 140, 190, 240, 290. Is anchor tag an inline element or a block level element? Those are all in line, right? If it is block, those each would be taken up a whole line by themselves and stacked on top of each other. Like blocks, they're not in line. Okay. And now if I click these, boom, took me down to 290. All right, back to top. Go to 240. 240 is right there. Right? I could go back to top. And I could drop those back to tops in as many times as I wanted. So I could just copy this. And I could put that. Yeah. You know, so it's referencing that as many times as it wants. Yeah. Yeah. Ninety back to top. One forty back to top. One ninety back to top. Two forty back to top. Two ninety back to top. So those are bookmarks on a page or anchors. And so sometimes I'll be looking at stuff like often I'll be at GoDoc, which is for HTML or for Go programming. And uh, I'll be like, okay, down here at the index, and then I want to send something to somebody. And there's actually right, right here a little pound sign, a little paragraph thing. If I click that, watch the URL. Oh, it's already there. Listen and serve. So that's going to take me right there if I send that to somebody. I'll boom, take you right there. Because when I look at this in the code, right click and inspect. In the code, it has ID T, listen and serve TLS, right? And so then they just do that anchor there, and that's how. You know, if I look at that in the index, you know, <coughs> I could see right here, as I uh, go over it, you could see, right? The link right there shows up over here. And you can see it's pound, listen, and serve. You see that? So it's saying, go right to that ID. So that's using IDs and anchor tags to create bookmarks. You can use, uh, you can make them to figure out like a picture. Mm -hmm. And make Yeah, so if I wanted to make an image and anchor, I could have uh, down here, 
There's a long ways to go. Uh, image, is that going to be URL or href? URL. Oh! Source. We all blew it. And uh, I'm going to go up a level and then go into 0 -0. Come on. Go up a level. Go into 0. What is 0 and 0? That. And then there. Me. Right? And, uh, and then I could put anchor on the outside of that. And I could say pound top. So this video, I'm just going to call this uh, um, bookmarks with anchor tags and IDs.